gave Abe Lincoln a one point lead. Tigers came out fast out of the gate in the third quarter. Abe Lincoln went on a run and it's been a one to four point game ever since. Right now, Cedar Falls with the advantage as Isaiah Johnson is going to trigger it in. Gives it in to Fagan. Fagan, shot off the glass, up and good. Three point lead. Fagan scores off the inbounds play. 18 seconds to go. Crawl into the front court and a quick timeout for Abe Lincoln. Given the two, do you take it and then foul? The problem with that, Abe Lincoln down to its last timeout now, is that oftentimes if you don't call timeout right away, off the score, it's just time to run off the clock. Nyland gets it in to, to Barrett. Barrett dribbles in. Crawl. Crawl with an incredibly deep. Oh my goodness. Crawl with a 30 footer. Eight seconds to go. Seven seconds. Now Fagan. Five seconds. Crosses midcourt. Four point. Three seconds. Fagan into the lane. Foul called with 22 seconds to go. Trayvon Fagan fouled on the way to the hoop. 22 seconds to go. Kyle Kroll, the leading scorer in Abe Lincoln history, off a handoff, hits a 30-footer, maybe 35 feet at the other end, probably not, exaggerating a little bit, I'm getting head shakes and nods from my son. Nonetheless, an incredibly difficult shot from Kroll. At the other end, without a timeout, Fagan gets it in, Dribbles the length of the court, going in for a shot. He's fouled for a .2 seconds to go. Needless to say, the biggest free throws of Trayvon Fagan's life. Tigers have cleared the lane, and Abe Lincoln's going to try to ice him. First free throw by Fagan. Crawls it in. It's good. Fagan hits the first one. Fagan hits the first one. Statistically, the NBA has said you cannot get a shot off with less than .3 to go. Should be ball game. Fagan's second one. Good. 24 for Fagan. Ball's in. Crow has it. Shot at the buzzer. Wouldn't count if it goes. Tigers win. Cedar Falls Tigers win. Trayvon Fagan. 19 second half points. But the big ones, the free throws, with 0.2 seconds to go, give the Tigers the win, their 20th win of the season against just four defeats, but more importantly, they advance to the 4A semifinal round action on Friday afternoon, and they will play the winner of the game that follows. 